Hey guys, just want to make this video real quick. I was just going to post this story, uh, this news story up on my community page, but I decided to go ahead and make a video because uh, I just wanted to do some commentary on it. Um, I know a lot of you are already rolling your eyes and probably clicking away because you see Fox News channel on the bottom left, but it, it's just a platform, okay? They're literally going to let you hear the entire quote from Governor Cuomo, from the governor of Maryland, I believe. And then there's going to be a follow-up story to a video that probably most of us have already seen. Um, it's uh, it's already posted up here on the top of the screen, if you can see it, uh, to kind of spoil the surprise. But anyway, um, yeah, guys, I don't watch the news. I don't watch TV. Sometimes these news stories pop up in my feed. And uh, if it's interesting, I'll watch it. If not, I click away. But uh, I'm literally just using this because they put all these stories together in one spot. I'm not here trying to promote fa uh, fake Fox News. They're just as fake as all the other ones. Um, it's just that this was the uh, platform that I found that had these stories together. So here we go. Andrew Smith in for Martha McCallum. And this is the story. As millions of Americans hunker down this year for a socially distanced Thanksgiving, millions of others are hitting the road. In fact, the TSA is reporting the highest number of travelers since the pandemic began. There you go. The highest number of travelers since the pandemic began. <clears throat> that tells me that people are smarting up. They're getting smart. They're waking up and they're realizing that uh, this whole thing is being very, very exaggerated. Okay. Despite the CDC urging Americans to stay home for the holidays, but many are growing frustrated, in particular with state officials, because they believe some measures just go too far. For example, in Pennsylvania, businesses cannot serve alcohol on Thanksgiving Eve. Okay, listen to this guy, okay? Do you think this guy's even ever had sex before in his life? Guys, they're literally telling us we cannot uh, sleep with each other, okay? including family members. That's literally what this man is saying right now, okay? Do we really need these people telling us how to live our lives, what we can and can't do uh, with our bodies? Where are all the uh, pro-abortionists at? My body, my choice. Do you really believe that? Check this guy out. The biggest day for drinking is the Wednesday before Thanksgiving. It leads to an increase in the exchange of the the uh, fluids that leads to increased uh, infection what it, it leads to an increase in the exchange of fluids what the heck have you ever seen like an awkward parent trying to talk to his kid about sex guys these people are acting like they are our parents okay like they are there to teach us about life and how to live and what to be careful of okay and what to be concerned about it's the flu. Dr. Fauci himself, your Lord and Savior, King of the World, Dr. Fauci, wrote an entire article in the New England Journal of Medicine stating how this is the flu, okay? And not even as bad as the flu, okay? I'm not saying that it's not really a virus. I'm not saying that people are not dying. All I'm saying is the reaction to this has been outrageous, you guys, okay? If everyone around me was on the ground, bleeding out of every orifice, okay, and this was truly a pandemic, I'd be the first one on board sealing up my house, okay, and totally social distancing and eating my own food, cooking my own phone, food, et cetera, et cetera. That's not what's going on, guys. I'm sorry. These are government tyrants trying to take over your life and using fear to do it with. And in Oregon, Governor Kate Brown urging people to call the police if they see someone violating COVID mandates. This is no different than what happens if there's a party down the street and it's keeping everyone awake. What do neighbors do? They call law enforcement. And in New York, Governor... Guys, do we really need a nanny? Did you see that nanny? Did you see grandma trying to tell us what to do and how to live? Call the police on people for not uh, obeying COVID restrictions? What is that? <clears throat> in America, we have laws. We have a system of laws, okay? Congress passes law. Uh, the legislative branch passes law. Okay, we don't, we're not subject to the whims of emergency orders, policies, guidelines, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, that's not the way America works. Any law that is passed that contradicts the tenets already outlined in the United States Constitution is immediately on its face, null and void. You cannot pass a law that supersedes the Constitution whether there's a pandemic or not.
There is no pandemic clause in the Constitution, you guys. These people are tyrants, okay? They are dictators, as Cuomo's going to say right now. They are the dictators. Well, listen to this. Cuomo says law enforcement officials that do not enforce mandates are, quote, dictators. You don't have the right to pick laws that you think you will enforce and you don't enforce laws that you don't agree with, right? That's not a law enforcement officer. Uh, that's a dictator. Guys, if you think that he just came up with that right there while he was sitting there, you're nuts, okay? He is an actor. He probably practiced that entire speech for like six hours in front of a mirror while his brother was in the background uh, lifting weights. Okay, he's the dictator. He is the dictator. He's trying to flip the script on police officers who don't enforce unconstitutional laws. Um, no, a police officer who doesn't enforce an unconstitutional law is a patriot. Okay, that is absolutely what police officers are supposed to do. Refuse to enforce unconstitutional uh, mandates, okay? The, uh, Governor Cuomo and his little toilet paper policies being enforced and crammed down the throats of people, everybody who lives in the state of New York and other states are following his horrible example. He is the tyrant. He is the dictator. That is an enemy of America that you just saw speaking right there. He is an enemy of freedom, an enemy of the United States of America. And then there is this video out of Orchard Park, New York. Business owner, owner Robbie De Niro defying state restrictions on gatherings held a large protest in his gym with other local business owners who feel COVID restrictions go too far. Then the Department of Health and local law enforcement showed up and this happened. I've lost friends, I've lost family who killed themselves. I've seen clients die because they've lost their livelihood. I'm sorry to hear that. I know you are. And I'm just, a pale, I'm asking for you to guys have some compassion. She's not sorry. She's not the least bit sorry. Most of us have seen this video already. Uh, I think that I can still fast forward. I'm going to give it a try. But I want you to see what happens at the end. That's what this is really all about. Doing their job. There we go. You should all be wearing masks. Not... They're just doing their job. You should all be wearing masks. It, it, what is this? What's with this guy's accent, okay? What, what, we have foreigners now from other countries coming here to tell us how we're supposed to live our lives. Totally clueless of the laws that we live under. Now, this guy could be a U.S. citizen, okay? I'm not saying that just because he's a foreigner, we shouldn't listen to him, okay? People come here, they get naturalized from all over the world. I love it. It's great. It's wonderful. I'm simply making a point. A lot of times, okay, it's someone from a different country who is living here, just living here, telling us how to live our lives. And a lot of them get jobs just like this guy right here. Do you have masks on? Don't worry about my health. My health isn't you're, your concern. You're meant to be wearing a mask. It's a government. Okay, well, then write me up. It's the law. Okay, then, but then, then take me to jail. Get a warrant. It's a law. It's a law. This guy's Australian or something, guys. I'm sorry. Go get a warrant. By the way, I love Australia. It's, it's one of my favorite countries on planet Earth, okay? Please don't turn this into some kind of a racist thing. I'm simply saying he is a foreigner in America. I wouldn't go to Australia, get a job as a cop, as an American, okay, uh, and then tell them how to live their lives and to do things that go against their rule of law. That's all. That's the only point I'm trying to make. Yes, you do. Come back. Park, New York, and he joins us now. Robbie, good evening and welcome. Hey, thank you for having me here. You've got quite a crowd there behind you. I'll let you tell me about that in just a moment. But what did we just see happen in I that do. video? They're still, they're still coming in. I've got you. You're live on TV right now, Robbie. What happened in okay. that video that we all just saw? Okay. I posted on Facebook Friday night that I wanted to get together business owners and protest and fight the lockdown that I feel is infringing upon our freedom. They showed up Friday night. We were about 20 minutes into that meeting when some sheriffs and a Department of Health official showed up uninvited. My business was closed. We were not conducting business. This was a protest. They walked in uninvited. A couple of the uh, patriots that were here with me said, hey, Robbie, there's some uh, sheriffs here and Department of Health officials. What do you want us to do? And I said, get them to leave. And well, the video speaks for themselves. Those patriots took it upon themselves to stand shoulder to shoulder and tell them to get out. And we were right. Because if we were wrong, they would have called for backup and come back. But they didn't. They left. It is our understanding, though, there is an update to this story tonight. And the Department of Health did come knocking this evening. What happened? They, 
They did. I, my business is closed, just like they uh, where they want me to. Um, but I, I was here after hours, and the sheriffs came again, escort, escorting a Department of Health official. I told them to get off my property. Uh, I told them that there are procedures they need to follow. This is after hours, and they have no right to be on my property without a warrant. Uh, I told them to come back. He said he wanted to deliver this piece of paper in an envelope. I said, nope, call, make an appointment. It's after hours. You can call and make an appointment. He taped it to the door. I finished kicking him off my property, and I opened it up, and it is a fine for $15,000. Robbie, why do you feel these restrictions go too far? All right, listen to this. Any infringement on our liberty goes too far. We were born with inalienable rights bestowed upon us by our creator. They are guaranteed by the Constitution, specifically the Bill of Rights, the, the First through 14th Amendments, specifically. Any infringement on our freedom for any reason is too far. Our freedom. Okay, now call this guy a loser, donut operator, and all other similarly situated and brain damaged. Call this guy a loser. Listen to this guy's, uh, listen to this guy's portfolio. Cannot end where people's fear starts. And I want to make everyone well aware that you are a native of New York. You've spent 14 years service, serving as an infantry officer in the United States Marine Corps. Um, guys, this guy's a badass, okay? He's done more for this country than, uh, uh, I don't even want to get into it, okay? This is not just some uh, loser with a camera out on the streets or some uh, conspiracy theorist, okay, or some anti-government anti zealot. So all of those people that are trying to put him into a little box, uh, you just got owned. You've earned many honors uh, in the military. You've got four children. We know it's a tough situation. We see your supporters there behind you. How far do you plan to go with this? I plan to take it as far as I possibly can. I want to ask Governor Cuomo and uh, polling cars. I want to ask them. It's a challenge to them. Come to my dinner table. Come to any of the dinner tables back here. Look our kids in the eyes and say, your, your father, your mother is an essential worker. They don't have the guts to do that. They also don't have the guts to answer why they get to draw a $225,000 salary, salary for Governor Cuomo and for Poland cars, $103,000 salary, but the working man and woman doesn't get to earn. They get to take our money, but we don't get to earn. They don't have the guts to tell us that. That's the worst your kind story's, of leadership. Your story is getting a lot of attention. Uh, we thank you for your service, and we'll continue to watch where this story goes. Thanks. For there you go. That's a patriot right there, okay? That's how it's done. Defying an unlawful order. Love this. Love this story. All right, guys. Peace out.